Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Julia Tinker. Julia, welcome to the show. You are an artist. Yes, I am. And Thank you. have you. a very interesting media. So first, tell me what you do. All right. What I do is called Japanese Gyotaku painting, and it originated in the 1800s. As a matter of fact, it was comes from Japan. Yeah. Half of my family is Japanese, and so I go fishing all the time, and I thought, man, this is going to be great. I paint, I can fish, and I can combine the two. So I, I looked into this, and I thought, I'm going to figure out how to do this Gyotaku painting. Okay. And way back in the 1800s, they, they invented this. Yeah, how did, I was going to say, how did this come about? Yeah, so in the 1800s, the Japanese fishermen would go down, they'd catch their fish, and they'd come back and they'd say, I have a fish. I want to take a picture of it, but they didn't have cameras. So people would take their fish and they would put sumi charcoal ink uh -huh. onto this fish itself, and they would press handmade rice paper onto the fish, peel it off, and they'd have a perfect representation of this fish. So, Julia, then the fisherman could go, see, my fish was this big. That's and exactly got a right. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. But, but you do more, okay, you, you, once you get the fish on the rice paper, yeah. then what do you do with it? Then I have taken a picture of the actual fish I've caught, yeah. I fish here in the valley, and I've got a show locally at the San Joaquin River Parkway. And so I've got trout. For example, I'll take this trout that I caught. I'll take pictures of it, and I'll make the print, and I'll go back with watercolors, and I'll paint him in so he looks almost exactly like he did when I caught him. Cool. So you, you, you do it on the rice paper. Yes. You, and you use what kind of charcoal? Ink? It's called sumi ink, and it's non-toxic. It's actually charcoal that comes from carbon wood. Okay. That's been burned and ground down with water, and it's just a combination of those two elements. Now, is, is that so that our fishermen back in the 1800s could still eat their fish, right? You're absolutely right. Cool. So I get a picture and a fish, too. That really works. Yeah. But but you got a you got a show going, right? I sure do. Right now at the San Joaquin River Parkway. It's okay. running through end it, of this month. San Joaquin, that's a fairly big place. Where in the parkway is it? It is. It's right down at the end, going out toward Friant Dam. Okay. And it's on Old Friant Road. Mm -hmm. And there's a house there. It's from the 1890s. It's an old ranch house that they renovated. Okay. And they have art shows. And they invited me to be a guest show. Well, that's great. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing this, Julia? Doing this for about four or five years now. Did you have a, you had a background in art prior to this? I did. I went to art school in Mexico. Did you? Yeah. I learned about painting and about drawing and charcoal. And I've taken those techniques and combined them. What I hope is is a fairly successful. I, I would hazard a guess that you're probably about the only artist around that, that does this particular type of. As far as I know. That's really cool. Yeah. So that, you know, and uh, did we get do we get a picture by chance? We in, sure did. I, I've got Mike, a few we images. Got, we got some some pictures there. Okay. All right. Now what's this one here? So this is a black bass that I caught in Alaska. Uh -huh. I usually spend time in Alaska in the summers in southern Alaska, and that's a nautical chart that I use when I'm on my boat fishing and, and navigating through the waters, and that's a black bass that's fairly typical up there. All right, that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, that's neat. And this one here? This is a local Millerton Lake largemouth bass. Right from our... Right from our waters. All right, cool. Excellent. And these are... These are crappie. Okay. And they're caught at Millerton as well. All right, we got it looks like another one possibly coming up we here. We sure do. All right. That is called a tiger rockfish. It's caught up in Alaska. It lives at about 60 feet under the surface of the water. It's delicious to have for dinner. Is it really? Yeah. And that's an ocean fish, that's right? That's an ocean fish. All right, excellent. All right, now this is... That I caught at Wishon when I was on a kayak, and that is a rainbow trout. Excellent. Yeah. Now, I assume that your work is for sale there, too, right? It sure is for so, sale. So for people that see this, and do you got a web page or a Facebook page or stuff? I mean, your, your show's going to only run for this long. It is. But, you know, someone may see this later on. How will we get a hold of you? Yes, I actually, you can contact me through my email. Okay, which is? Which is jetinker25 at gmail.com. J-E Tinker, uh -huh. 25 at gmail.com. Okay. Or you can call me. Shall I give the phone number? If you want to give your phone number, give it. Of course. It's 559-301-7126. Well, that's great. Yeah. Julia, that's really neat. Um, Thank you. I look forward to you coming back sometime in I the future. I would love time. to come back anytime. Right. And we'll talk about Alaska some more. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank All right? you. And we'll see you when we come back. That's some great art. So. Thank you. Go see the show. <laughs>